Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Google files to Canvas modules, allowing students to read about a concept or gain new knowledge before applying the information. There are several ways that you can integrate Google files with Canvas, such as embedding them into the rich content editor or adding them as an assignment using the Google LTI. I'll link to these videos down in the description area below. Today though, I want to show you how you can add Google files as an external tool to a Canvas module. This is uh, great because it allows students to just view the files and not edit them. Why is this great? It's beneficial because it allows students to read about a concept or gain new knowledge before applying that information to an assignment. To add Google Files to a new or existing module, create a new item and select external tool. Scroll down the list until you find Google Drive LTI 1.3 and select this. Next, you will need to link your Google account and select the file to embed. To do this, click on the blue Select File button. A new window will appear giving access to your Google Drive. At the top, you can see the most recent files, the My Drive folders and files, or upload a file from your computer. Select a file and click the blue Add button then click Attach. Next, click the blue Add Item button. This will add the file right into the module. Now, you can have students view this in two different ways. Right now, it will open almost like a page in Canvas. It's a little smaller, and students may have to scroll more to view the entire file. However, you can choose to open the file in a new window, which, depending on the file, may be easier to view. To change this, click on the three dots next to the name of the file and select Edit. Click the checkbox labeled Load in a new tab and select the blue Update button. When students click on the file, they will be prompted to load in a new window, but it's a lot easier to view. If students have an issue viewing the file, you may need to change the file's sharing permissions in Google to anyone with the link. Thanks for watching.